How's it going guys? We are back with another tutorial here, this time with the WizKids Gargantuan White Dragon from the Pathfinder Deep Cuts set. So to prepare this model, all I've done is give it a nice thin coat of Vallejo White Primer. Uh, the standard primer is a little bit gray and I just wanted to start off with a little bit brighter base. Also taken some silly putty and masked off the little flight stand. And I'm going to do my best to try to keep this in frame. But we're going to start off with some Minotaur uh, Ghost Tint Plasma Fluid. With a healthy amount of flow improver. And we want this to be very thin. I'm going to add some water as well. And I'm basically just trying to tint the white. So I'm just going to do a little test. See that blue there? I think I'm going to go even thinner. A little more water. I basically just want to start with a nice light blue. Alright, let's see how this goes. So you can see that just barely, barely tense it. So I'm probably going to end up spraying the whole model. So I'm just kind of playing with it for now. It's very thin, so if you get hold it in one place for too long, you'll get runoffs like that. Just wipe them away. So keep your brush moving. And don't shake your cup too much when it's that full. Coat the whole thing. I'll go ahead and finish that up and come back and see what it looks like. Alright, so I've sprayed the entire model with our very thin plasma fluid. And it's basically the effect is kind of like a airbrushed wash. And you could totally just brush this on, just make sure it's real thin. And uh, we're just trying to set it up so that we have somewhere to go with our highlights if we didn't uh, darken it first then you know painting white on white is not really going to do much so now we're going to take some more flow improver and a couple drops of the plasma fluid again And then some P3 Grave Digger denim, denim. And we're going to use this to put some shadows. So we're going to go a little bit darker blue. A couple drops of water. Uh, 
see how this looks. And I kind of test it on the bottom of his foot here. Perfect. So, kind of doing a very uh, specific opposite Zenithal highlight. So we're just trying to spray the under parts. Where the shadows would be. Makes it kind of tricky with this large base. Just trying to sneak it in there wherever I can. Underneath his head. Get under his armpits. The bottom sides of his arms and legs. And his neck. Now we're going to get underneath those folds in the wings. Okay. I'm not worried too much about overspray because most of it's going to get covered up. That's pretty much it for that. And then wherever there's like a two sections meeting together, we'll do a nice line there. And then the spine. bottom of the tail. It's the underneath part. And we'll do the same thing on the tops of the wings. It's all very subtle, so it's not going to make a huge difference. But every little bit helps. And then I'm just going to go along each of the spines.
Second pass just to reinforce that shadow a little bit more. Same thing on the inside. Pass and the spines. Looks like I'm gonna have just enough of this paint. And then, since I still have a little paint left, I'm gonna go ahead darken the inside of the bottom side of the wings. A little bit more too. All right, we'll let that dry. Come back for the next step. All right, our paint is all dry. Now we're going to go with some Vallejo Mecca Pure White Pull Improver. And now we're basically going to do another Xenopole Highlight. Whoops. Alright, so when you're airbrushing white, you want to make sure it's very thin. And, okay, so we're basically going to come down from like a 45 degree angle onto our dragon. Keep the airbrush at the same level and slowly spin the dragon. And I'm probably not going to be able to do, I mean, you won't see the airbrush, but you can kind of see what I'm doing, hopefully. So now it's time to bring the white back in. a little bit of uh, sputtering That's spotting so that means I need to add a little more water keep the tip clean Another big sputter there. My little more floor improver. We're not trying to destroy all of that blue we did. We're just kind of reintroducing some of the white back in. I'm going to keep most of our shadows. I 
to use the angles best we can. Come down here on the tail. I know it's going to be hard to see this, but then up underneath, it's going to come in down the center. And then we'll do a little bit just between the ribs. Sure, tips clean. Now we focus a little more on re whitening. Try to really highlight where the light would be hitting the most. Take several coats with the white and you just kind of go back and forth. Keep going around it. Make the parts you want white whiter to leave the shadows. Because we want this guy to look white, but with a blue, a cool blue tint to him. And then we're also, we'll come back, we'll do the, all the fins, a different color, of course his mouth and all that. And we'll probably have to come back in and redo some brush shading. But most of this can be done with airbrush. So I'm going to keep uh, working at it. And, uh. Come back in a little bit, see what I got. All right, let that dry. Next step, I'm gonna use some golden acrylics, titanium white. This is a heavy body acrylic. And uh, we're gonna do a dry brush. Get a really large flat brush. And you wanna get your brush pretty dry, but since what we're working on is basically already kind of white. It's not going to get as streaky as it normally would if you're trying to dry brush white. So we're going to try to stay in the same directions. Let's pop out some of that detail.
see I've already done this side and then we're gonna paint those veins anyway so but basically you're gonna dry brush the whole model and should end up looking something like that already done most of it off camera so you're starting to look more and more white now but uh, I'm gonna keep uh, working at him you know doing uh, several layers the more layers you do the more white he's gonna end up looking so it just depends on how white you want him to be uh, I'll do a little more and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so we finished up the dry brushing and I have gone and did a little more airbrushing over the spines to whiten them up a little bit. But uh, that's pretty much it for most of it. I went ahead and painted the claws using Secret Weapon Tire Black and then highlighted them with uh, Tire Black, uh, the rubber highlight. And then I've got the Army Painter Pink that I painted the inside of the mouth with and just used some uh, Citadel Nightshade Blue Wash. And then we did Ivory on the whites of the eyes and some black for the pupils. And that's pretty much it. So pretty quick and easy uh, paint job considering the size. And uh, I think he turned out really well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see some more tutorials. Thanks, guys.